Hi, good to see you all again in the today's English class. In the today's English class, we are going to continue the lesson which we have seen yesterday. Yesterday, we were discussing about the lesson first day at school. It's the chapter seven in our English textbook. It's an interesting story. We have completed half of it. You know well about the story. It all started from the Ragini's bedroom. Ragini was living with her parents and grandparents in a house. And Ragini was quite a big girl. And it was the first day of her school. But she was not ready to go to school. She was so afraid. She was afraid of kids. Ragini's mother called her sixteen time to get out of the bed and to eat her breakfast. But she was reluctant to go to school. She hasn't moved out of the bed. Ragini's grandmother, she was doing her bhajanas, and Ragini's grandfather, he was doing his breathing exercise. And both of them, they have come inside Ragini's room just to make Ragini go to school. They tried their best. They took turns to change her mind. They started saying, "School, it has big playground and a big garden that is way bigger than ours." They tried everything to change her mind, but she never moved out of bed. And then they left her room and they started doing their own work. And the clock struck nine. Yes, it's nine o'clock. It's time to be in school. But Ragini is still in bed. Ragini's father, she he came inside the room and ordered her. Ragini, you have to be ready in ten minutes. I am getting late for office. I'll drop you at school. He said and left. And Ragini, she had no choice than getting ready to school. So she got herself out of the bed and dressed up for school. And she sat and said, "That's God." And they both moved to school. They reached the school and were standing at the front gate. The doorkeeper he let them in. They have parked the car and started walking through the tree-lined pathway. This is the tree-lined pathway. A pathway it has both sides trees. Tree-lined pathway. They were walking through it. Past an enormous, lush green playground, and they moved past the big playground. But no one was there. No one was playing in the playground. It was entirely quiet. There was a pin drop silence all over the place. Why was that? Because it was the time for the assembly. Students, teachers, and principal, everyone, they were in the assembly. So she had come late. Ragini came late to school. She had to wait at the principal's office. She was waiting outside of the principal's office for the assembly to end. Ragini was so nervous. It was her first day of school, so she was very nervous. And the assembly got over. Children, everyone, they moved to their classrooms. and principal she came to the office principal was an elderly woman a old aged lady she was the principal of the school she came here ragini and said never mind that you are a bit late no harm's done it's your first day of school principal said to ragini and principal asked ragini come let's go to your classroom Principal was going along with Ragini to her classroom. Both of them, they were walking through the corridor. To Ragini, it was looking like a long, never-ending corridor. They both were walking in the corridor to the classroom of Ragini. Her heart was beating so loud. She was so nervous. And they reached the classroom. They reached Ragini's classroom. And principal said. This is your class, Ragini. Both of them enter the classroom, and children, just like the same way, they all stood together and greeted Principal with good morning. Ragini, she came inside the classroom and bowed her head. Why did she bow her head? Because 
Ragini was not a student. Ragini was the class teacher. It was her first day of school. It was not about the student. It was about the teacher's first day of school. Her students, the kids were looking at her with bright smiling eyes. They were happy to see Ragini in her classroom. And finally, the kids, they were faces of friends, not strangers. That was Ragini's first day of school, a teacher's first day of school. That's the happy ending of our story. I hope you have understood it well. Thank you for watching this video.